Welcome back to the channel everyone, North47 here and today we are back on SnowRunner and I am nervous already before even starting this because we are going, well as you would have seen in the thumbnail anyway we are going to be transporting this monster of an oil rig salvage semi trailer um, to be honest looking at it from here I think it's actually bigger than the, what was it called, the construction rig semi trailer that we did a while ago back in uh, Michigan and I mean it looks on the map, all we have to do, we have to get it from here down to here in the port. Seems pretty straightforward. It's not too long of a run. But when we get to about here, I don't think, like this is a detour route up around here. And I, do, I just, I genuinely don't think I'm going to be able to get the trailer up there. Um, So I think the, the most straightforward route, but very dangerous at the same time, is going to be coming along here. And once we get to here, where the where the this big uh, boulder is here, the road severely severely leans and slopes off down here. So that is going to be a very nerve wracking bit. Pretty straightforward once we get around here, up until here, where we've got a choice of going this way or going this way. I don't think we're going to be able to winch through here. We have got some dead trees to be able to winch through, but I just I don't think they're going to be strong enough to be able to pull the truck with this trailer on it. Uh, so we're going to have to come through this one. And just winch ourselves along the trees. That's if we do need it. We might maybe be able to struggle our way through. But I think sometime before. Maybe even get into here. I'll probably have to just fly up here to the fuel station. Refuel. Come back down. And then it's just straight down. Pretty pretty smooth sailing it should be. Uh, straightforward drive. Once we get out. Once we get up onto this road. Just getting it down to the port. Shouldn't be too bad. But uh, I am going to also just forward time i want daytime 100 percent for this right set it to 1 p.m um definitely want daytime for when i'm just going past those rocks so uh, i suppose let's get straight into it i crept my way all the way here in low range to ensure that i had or ensure that i used as little fuel as possible um but i genuinely think i'm gonna have to re uh refuel at some point and I'm steering the wrong way obviously this is not a good not a good start already <laughs> yeah other steer st uh, opposite steer should I say this thing has me nervous <laughs> um, I'm just hitching on here oh god and it does say as well in the thing that an off-road truck is suggested so this is the only off-road truck that I have. Uh, what was the, the name of this truck actually? Um, bear me to the Royal BM17. I only have chain tires on the outside at the back. I haven't got the raised suspension, so I can't get them on all tires. I do not have. Um, did I upgrade the engine? I think I have an engine upgraded. Uh, I do have a snorkel on anyway for my getting through. The very very swampy bit where I was saying that we might have to winch along uh, stick this into low plus with a little bit more speed but this thing is absolutely bloody massive I'm pretty sure it is bigger than the construction rig from Michigan and all I know is I am just I'm, I'm getting more and more nervous now as we're driving up the road I'm getting more and more nervous I don't know how long this video is going to go on for I'll try and keep as much of it as I can in real time uh, maybe just when refueling, I'll probably go. I'll probably either just cut that out, or else just speed the footage up. Haven't decided yet. As I say, <laughs> I just I don't know what way this is gonna go at all. Don't have any diff lock on this truck as well. There's no option for diff lock. So, alright, it's pulling not too bad so far. I am just the slightest wrong movement. Going around this rock is just going to be a disaster. All right, we're bogging down now. Using 11, 12, jumping up to 13 litres of fuel a minute. So I say I had I left the garage with 280 litres of fuel in the truck, full tank. Got down here with 216 litres of fuel. It was after I got past this. Oh well, when I got to the swampy part is when I started just keeping it in low range just to cut down on the fuel consumption but as you can see trying to pull this monster of a thing is uh, is eating the juice 
but there's the turn there anyway for the detour as I say I just genuinely do not think I'm going to be able to get the trailer up there I mean we're struggling here now at the moment kind of bogging down and it does get tight and a bit snowy up there as well uh, just driving the truck oh god I mean look you can see it you can see it this is I, th I think we're just going to topple off straight away we might be doing a take two and having to uh, having to try put this into low low the bottom low range <laughs> uh, yeah just having to try um, oh god the truck just wants to turn by itself yeah as I tried to say try the uh, the detour route instead I am fucking nervous I mean who puts a big boulder in the middle of the road I have to go over I need to I have to go over it Oh, sweet mother of feckin' Christ, we're down. <laughs> uh, brilliant. Uh, right, let's restart. Stop, 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 stop. I might be able to get myself out of here. I, I might be able to get myself out of here without having to drive all the way back. Oh god. Don't, don't topple, don't topple. That's it, that's it, keep going, keep going. And break on. Uh, right, this is going to be a <coughs> bit of an awkward pull here but there we go okay that wasn't too bad that wasn't too bad oh get up 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 <sighs> right I didn't have to drive all the way back all right let's try this again and yeah we're definitely we're gonna have to take the the detour route I think New trailer discovered. What do you mean new trailer discovered? I, was I just had it hitched on. Oh, all I know is, oh god. Oh, close one. There you go. Alright, let's try it again. Right, 173 liters of fuel. Certainly going to be refueling before we get off this road. Don't even know if we're going to make it around the detour, but we'll see what happens. I've only been, I've went along the detour once. Uh, what truck was I in? I came down this way with something... I think it was in the Fleet Star. And... Or was I in... Oh, actually, no, sorry. I was in a scout. I was coming down to just see what was down here. When I got onto the map. And... Uh, was I in the, Yeah, I was in the Chevy pickup. And I went off. I went off that slope. That was just a pickup. So... That should have been an early warning, <laughs> early warning signal that... Uh, it was just not going to happen with this thing. Like, Jesus, I barely even got it. I didn't even get to the steepest part of the slope where that rock was. And we went. Come on, truck. Come on. Come on. You pulled it up here now a second ago. Not too. No, no bother at all. Alright, let's see. Already now we're having wind. This is going to be a bloody nightmare. Is this going to be a two-part video? Like the last one? <laughs> well, pull. Oh, sweet Jesus. I just pulled that tree out of the ground. And that's a decent winch. Point. All right, let's try regular automatic. No, I'm stuck. I'm stuck. That's just fantastic. Um, all right, we have a winch point on here. <laughs> yeah, good luck with that little tree. Um, come on, truck. Come on. You literally just pulled the damn thing up there a minute ago. Just give us enough. Right, we've got some movement on it. Let's go. There we go. Just get up enough that I can winch onto that pole. Back into low range because I need to try and keep the fuel consumption down. But we're moving. Snail's pace, but we're moving. And oh, I thought I thought we got stuck again. There we go. 
has to be in the trailer just got stuck on something there all right let's uh ready to try the detour I mean when I came to I went through what truck was I in was I in the uh, what's it called Russian one I think it's KRS 58 I think and that had a little bit of trouble nothing on the back no no trailers and nothing just the truck and uh, that had a bit of trouble if I remember correct trying to get up through this detour I mean it was a bit safer than going down that way but I certainly did not have one of these things on the back but here we go it's the only way I'm getting this thing out of here I mean at least on the plus side we do have quite a lot of trees to winch onto so if I can get around here there's all the snow like this is gonna be a fucking nightmare but if I can get around past this detour back onto the road without having to go and refuel <coughs> Um, it won't be too bad but at least I say we do have some big trees that won't break when we winch on right I mean I don't want to count my chickens before they hatch but we are still cutting through the snow we're getting slower I mean even here now the flipping thing is still trying to lean on me Yeah, I can't do chickens too uh, too soon there, right winch. Uh, wrong one. There we go. Certainly don't want to winch onto that poor little thing. That'll do. Wouldn't stand a chance with the truck by itself. Oh god, just please don't. Please, please don't. Uh, okay, hold on, hold on. Right, winch onto that. That'll stop it from toppling if it wants to, I think, or have I just made the situation worse? Oh. God. Why do I get the feeling the truck is just... It's gonna, it's gonna tip over. 100 litres of fuel, just over 100 litres of fuel left, come on, we can get around here, and I, w I wouldn't mind, I think it's kind of tight up here as well, and we get up to that left hand bend up there, uh, I think it kind of tightens between, I think there's a rock, and some trees, but, okay, we're stable for now, and right, we're going to winch on to that tree there gives a little bit of a pull forward so once we get through the snow we should get a little bit more traction be able to move a little bit quicker but we do have the option of the trees anyway so it is a bit of a better it's a longer <laughs> overall but yeah it is it is definitely the the safer option right now we're going to need to <coughs> use this one the back of the truck I'll do if I can get I'd love the control options to be that I could turn off the um, this the zoom in and out on the left bloom and stick whenever I slightly push forward on it and if anybody knows as well if you play snow running yourself please tell me if I'm doing something wrong but whenever I come onto the game I have to go back into my hood settings and uh reset the FOV sliders don't lean just please don't lean but yeah it's kind of, kind of getting annoying even in the even doing it on the main menu like I mean it's saving the settings but every time I load up the game I have to reset the FOVs all right got a little bit of movement here right I'm gonna have to ditch the trailer in a second if we can just get back onto the main road itself I might even have to recover the truck back to the garage actually to, to refuel because I want to try and get this back down onto the road itself before going to refuel. What am I stuck on? I think there's a, a rock there or something. Somewhere in and around about the back tires.
all right slow down <laughs> the fastest I think we've been yet yeah uh, it's actually it's not too tight or is it up here it's actually it's up the next left hand bend I think I'm pretty sure it's just, there's just a tight section if I remember correct right uh, now we've got a bit of trouble um, onto that tree there take the handbrake off would help just to pull us because the trailer's wanting to stick have we got another decently strong tree we have there uh, right let's pull onto that one I um, think this is the marker for it yeah alright right, now it's pulling me too far over to the side think we're a little bit stuck. Right, tell you what. <clears throat> Let's do here. Onto here. Pull us forward and keep us on the road at the same time. We'll just, say, just keep the trailer moving. Bit by bit. 72 litres of fuel. Right, next one now we're going to have to do this. Oh crap, I can't even get that big tree there. Uh, all right, we'll just we'll just do that. Angle the truck just so then it can turn back this way. I don't even know what the back of the trailer is doing. We're, com we're completely off. Right, where's the next best point for me to winch onto? Maybe that tree there. But we are still moving. And I'm, yeah, I'm 100% just going to ditch the trailer. Once we get it back onto the road, going to ditch it. Um, probably just be actually quicker to recover the truck back to the garage, refuel it that way. There's that bit, there's the rock that I was thinking of, but it, it doesn't look as tight as what I was picturing in my head. But again, I hadn't got the, uh, a massive oil rig trailer on the back when I was last coming through, so who knows how tight it's going to be now. Come on, come on, keep going. I don't want to get the wheels up on that rock either. Oh god, oh god, don't, don't, please. Oh Jesus Christ. Oh god. <laughs> if the. Don't, don't. Please don't. Right, um, we're going to take a safety measure here on this one. <clears throat> uh, <laughs> Jesus Christ. I'll let me snap that tree. I think this is a big tree here. No, I see. I, make, I'm, I think I'm going to make a mistake doing this. I think. I just. Oh, God. Oh. Flip the neck. Get down. Just please get back down. Please. Please. Oh, once I see you going more upright, I'm happy. Come on. Come on. I'm going to reset, reset back to daytime in a minute as well. I, I want as much daylight as I can doing this. I'm stuck. I'm stuck in a tree. I think. Oh, no, wait. Hold on. We're moving. We're moving. Oh, I just want to see that trailer get level. You really would want balls of steel doing something like this in real life. Because to be honest, I mean, if you were to topple something like this over on a road like this, or a path like this even, I wouldn't even class this as a road, in real life, how the hell would you recover it? 
right, hold on, hold on. We're just winch connect. No, I don't want to connect the winch. I want to reset time. Right, six a.m. will do. Um, I mean, there's the, there's the road. I just want to get onto that, and then it's going to recover the truck. I don't think I'm going to have enough fuel to be able to get through the swamp. Not what I'll call the swamp anyway. Up to the fuel station and refuel it. <clears throat> so I'm just going to have to ditch you here. We'll just plug along until it literally runs out of fuel. Get as far as we can. Alright, we're moving. We're moving. No! If I topple it again this time, I'm, <laughs> I'm just I'm not going to be able to do this again. Come on, keep moving. As I was saying, though, in the second attempt before toppling it, toppling it, where are we? Yeah, just right there. Uh, how the hell would you recover one of these? Yeah, we're literally, I think we're at this point here. And I was saying, how on earth would you recover something like this on one of these rolls in real life if you toppled it? Uh, I think I'd just take my P45 and get out of the country because how expensive would one of these things be? Alright, now I know what happened the last time. You can see where the trailer was going up over the snow. Just right there, right in front of the truck. That's where I went wrong. Where I think I should have brought it down this way. Oh god, if I topple it again. Just keep fairly straight here. For as long as we can. I'm going to have to get the truck right over here to this rock before I start to turn. No, actually, I'm just going to have to turn now. Oh, God. Don't. Just, just, no. Just, no. No. Uh, yeah, you there. And then there. Oh, no! Please, for the love of fuck! God, jeez! <laughs> Take a breath. <laughs> I thought it was... Uh, it, it, it could still go. I am... Right, let's, let's straighten the truck up. Straighten the truck up. Over this way. I know I'm still attached by the winch here, right, we're going to have to detach that. Oh. God. Give me a low, the bottom end of low range there, whatever you call it, just keep it slow. Oh, God. I think maybe if I attach, uh, like, I mean, it'd be alright, actually, if I topple it to the what's now the left of the screen, it'd be alright, I could save it. But I think what we're going to do... Is that a big tree? It better be a big tree. I'm going to attach onto that. Right, now let's drive. Because if it starts going toppling to its left, that's where it's going to hit the fan. Oh god, are we through? Right, detach the winch, detach the winch. Just keep it slow. Keep it slow. Okay, we're going to have to speed it up because we're starting to bog in here. Oh, just don't feckin' floor it. Um, oh, God. I want to say we're through. I, I want to say we're through. Keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight, keep it straight. Oh, please don't make me have to drive all that again. Please don't, please don't topple. Please don't topple. Please don't topple. Oh, please don't. I'm just going to keep steering left. Oh, my God. Handbrake, handbrake. Uh, yeah, attach onto that. Now drive, and uh, again, as I say, just 
keep it over this way. Come on, as soon as I see that go. Oh, fuck me, Jesus Christ. Oh. Just please, get down off the snow. Just get down off the snow. Just get down off the snow. Back on the road. Please just level out. I never ask for much in life. Please just level out. I'm only just, I'm just look down at my fuel. 24 liters left. I think I'm going to just drop the truck. I'm going to have to go back to the fucking garage again. <clears throat> Crap. I'm still not 100% happy here. It's still leaning. It's still, <laughs> still fucking leaning. I'm not happy. I don't like these trailers leaning. Um. Right, yeah. I'm just, oh, God. No, 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 no. If the truck is leaning, the trailer's going to lean. Get over this side. Oh, I... I think we're over the worst of it right we're just gonna get if we can get up to that next pole there I'll drop the trailer recover um, yeah I'll just drop the trailer just cut the record and, and go recover and refuel job leaders come on come on you can get up this come on after all we've been through together come on after all we've been through get up and over that All right, I'm just going to have to drop it here. Um, yeah, drop the trailer. Right. I'll be back in a second. Don't you dare. I saw the damn thing bounce. I thought it was going to topple. <sighs> I'll take a breath for a minute now. Right, we're back after... Uh, recovering and refueling. One thing I'm only just thinking of, what I want to actually check, I just want to make sure, I'm trying to think of the bridge that's up ahead here. Am I actually going to be able to get the damn trailer over that bridge? I presume I am. Height-wise. Let me get a little bit of a look at it. Oh, flip now. Uh... Yeah, we should have enough clearance there. Alright, let's go and get it. I do not like how that trailer is leaning. And I'm just hoping that I'm actually still going to be able to flip him and attach it now because the height of the damn thing. Please don't tell me I detached the tra uh, I detached it in the most stupid of places. I mean, I had no choice really to be honest. I bugger out fuel left in the truck, so. But please let me just be able to reattach it or hitch it, whatever you want to call it. I cannot restart this again. <laughs> Alright, that should be lined up pretty well. That's okay, thank Christ for that. Thought it was going to be too high. And I wouldn't be able to. Come on. Pull it. I have nothing to winch onto either, don't I know? Um, oh wait, hold on. Are we moving? It wants to move very, very slowly. I think. I'm terrified to even winch the tray or attach the winch from the back of the trailer onto that pole there, just at the, the top right of the screen. Because now, in my look, I'll pull. I'll end up pulling it over. I'll, I'll, I'll topple it myself. Oh wait, we're moving. We're moving. Moving. 
All right. Uh, probably going to get stuck here on the incline again, but we have to actually yeah, keep it on the left, I think. With the poles, so I can winch onto them. Then we're going to have to come over to the right. I'm not even going to dare attempt going down that left-hand route. Because there's only dead trees there. I mean, if we're pulling trees out of the ground, that would normally pull the truck and an average trailer. Our average load easily enough and they were snapping there's not a hope that's some dead trees are gonna pull this thing so hardest part now is just gonna be getting through here once you get through here we should be fine should be I don't know why I was thinking Bear with me two seconds. Alright, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, I just heard something there. I had to go and investigate. Um, what was I saying? Yeah, it has to... Yeah, I, don't, I was saying about the bridge there. Like, cut back in, show the bridge. I don't know why I thought it was going to be too short. Or not high enough to be able to get the trailer through. So, once, as I say, we get through here... We should... Should be in the clear, but... I, I just I uh, get getting that feeling in the gut that something is gonna go wrong. So at least we have What are you where are you winching onto? Why would you winch onto a tree behind us? That one. I'll be doing a lot of winching getting through here. <coughs> Um, trying to pull through without the winch so we'll see how we can go I just don't want to hit some weird patch that's going to lean the trailer, I just I can't handle another another lean from the trailer, <laughs> I really can't that was the most, that was like for a, a driving game a trucking game, a slow pace like as this is, that was nerve wracking that was genuinely nerve wracking. Can I reach that tree there? That lone tree. And get another another few meters, yards, whatever. We might be able to. I don't think I think we're getting to be stuck now. Alright, uh, let's do the trailer. <coughs> Excuse me. Yeah, let's do the trailer onto that tree there. That'll do. That gets me within winching range of this tree. It's on it. Right, I think the back of the truck should be able to reach that note there, yep. So I can kind of turn the cab. Right, release it. <coughs> Come on. Don't get stuck on me now. Come on, let's go. Reluctantly. I don't want to have to refuel again as well. I think we should be alright. I mean... Oh, for God's sake. Are, any, are we about half... Not even halfway through. Well, maybe the cab is, but... Alright, uh... Trailer... I can't even tell what's a large tree, large enough to drag this thing. Yeah, there we go. Mm, 
Can I reach that? Might be able to. It's a good job I actually, I, yeah, I have the high power winch on here as well. The pull's pretty decent. Oh yes, it does reach. Lovely, that will get us up a bit. Back at the cab. Or the truck, whatever. Right, what? I should be able to get the trailer now. Two inch onto there, yes. <clears throat> I don't think that poor little tree that's just in front of the truck now is going to be able to pull us so I think we're out I think this is where things are going to go uh, downhill quickly I'll put it in low range I don't know why I just, I'm just getting a feeling that it's just all of a sudden just going to launch itself forward Excuse me. Come on. Come on. We're out. We're out. We are out. Should be a pretty straightforward drive for the rest of the journey. But then again. You never know, don't, don't turn too early, jeez, we're going to cut over the flipping snow and then end up toppling the damn thing again, and I genuinely, I just genuinely, after getting this far, no, 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 after getting this far, I cannot do that again, I cannot do that again, oh, God, just, don't lean any more than that. Don't lean any more than that. Okay. Right. You know, bring this back down to... No, we can do, we can do it in the, the low plus. I think. I'm confident. I'm gaining me confidence after what we've been through. Just need to keep it wide on the turns. Don't, don't, for whatever reason, bounce like a mad thing going over that rock. Just please don't, please don't, please don't. <sighs> right, here's the bridge. Just don't, don't bounce on that. Oh, no, I need I need to be careful now. I'm going over the snowbank here, aren't I? Oh, we're alright, we're not leaning. Yeah, plenty of room for the trailer to get through. I don't know why I thought it was going to be too high for it. I mean, it'd be a bit mean, wouldn't it? I've been able to let it go. Because, I mean, Jesus Christ, I could imagine trying to come down through that. That's a nightmare in just a bloody scout. That road there. Never mind doing a big loop off around the map. But there's the port entrance. Turn the damn truck. Don't be gazing at the finish line. <sighs> Breathe a sigh of relief. <laughs> I'm not even stopped, just please don't let something something happen. Does. Ooh, ooh, wait, hold on, hold on, turn, turn. 
We're through. Jeez, the heat off that sun coming in the window. Oh, there it is. Okay, there's the, you weren't here the last time I was down here. Very good. You're gonna have it. Holy crap. And you only gave me 3,350 quid for that. You robbers. I toppled the damn thing twice. I've been on the edge of my flipping seat for I don't even know how long I'm recording now. I haven't a clue. But. That. Was the oil rig semi trailer whatever the bloody hell it was called holy crap as I mentioned a couple I have never been so nervous and anxious doing a job or a, a mission in a game that was something else oh my god if I had to if I had to restart and do that one more time I would have lost the will I would I think I would have just rage quit the game but uh, yeah we got there in the end that was a nightmare. If you managed to make it this far in the video, thank you very much for watching. I hope you did enjoy it. Watching me struggle getting that thing all the way down to the part. If you did, make sure to drop it a like. If you haven't done so already, make sure to hit subscribe. I shall talk to you all in the next video. Until then, take care. Have yourselves a good one. And bye for now.